3D printing has changed forever and it's awesome. Nowadays, printers work right out of the box so anybody can enjoy this hobby. What's going on? I'm Dylan from Saturday Morning Props where I teach everything from 3D printing tips and tricks all the way to how to do cosplay props and helmets and Power Rangers and things like that. And in this video, I'm gonna teach you about the best beginner 3D printer. I really hope that I can convey the genuineness of my opinion on this thing. I truly think this is the absolute best beginner printer. It is absolutely fantastic quality and the price point is absolutely amazing. Uh, I don't want this to feel like a stupid ad or something like that. This is just a true recommendation that I think anybody could grab and it would be a, such an amazing entry point into this hobby and I want you guys to be a part of this hobby. 3D printing used to be this hobby that you had to do a lot of troubleshooting or trial and error and you have to do tons of research and you'd have to learn different things. I mean, the setup and then also learning about your slicer and all of these different things, you'd have to troubleshoot so much and just learn and learn and learn. And nowadays, like those are great skills to have, but nowadays they work right out of the box. The printer I'm talking about is the Bamboo Labs A1 printer. It works literally as soon as you set it up. I have done the iconic Spider-Man helmet on this thing. I have done Deadpools that look absolutely gorgeous here. And these are all done on there and they're full size. It's the same build volume as the P1 series and the X1C and you're getting it at such an affordable price point. And the quality is just unreal. Like there's no difference between this and their other main flagship printers. Bamboo is witchcraft. I don't know how their quality comes out so good and I never would have thought a bed slinger could have done this. Look at the detail on this Venom piece here. Like you can't even see the layer lines on here. And again, this was done on a bed slinger where gosh, even a year ago, you could not do anything remotely close to this quality and it's at $330 for the base printer. I'll have it linked in my link tree as best beginner printer, but yeah, go check that out. I mean, that helps out the channel too, but that's an un unbelievable price for this quality. When I first got into 3D printing, you had to really focus when building the printer. You had to keep everything in alignment. You had to use triangles and make sure that you're getting it at perfectly 90 degrees and that the gantry was upright. And then on top of that, you'd have to work through cable management and have to zip tie a million of them and make sure there wasn't all this binding or the bed wasn't running into things. You don't have to worry about that. Building the A1 is super easy. It comes in large pre-assembled pieces like the upper gantry and the base. The cables are run inside of these big platforms so you don't have to worry about running all these cables all over the place. The instructions are super clear and all the screw locations have like little highlighted rings around where you need to attach them. It's been the easiest printer to put together by far. And then after all that back in the day with the other printers, you'd have to learn how to level it. You'd have to do the paper mechanism, go around and level all the knobs and try to get that all working really well and get it all trammed. This printer has an amazing calibration system. If you've ever seen the Bamboo Lab stuff, this thing does crazy stuff where it will do shake test and can understand how much shake it's having on your table. It'll calibrate the noise. So like it'll run tests to see how loud it's being and then compensate and dampen it for you. My house has terrible power, so I can't run all of my printers in the same room. So this printer is actually in my dining room right next to my living room. Because it is so silent, it is not an issue at all that I can run that printer out there and it's awesome. The bed leveling is absolutely fantastic with this calibration as well and that was one of the hardest things in printing. 95% of fails back in the day was just bed leveling, whether you were too close to the bed and it was not sticking, whether you were getting curling on your prints or just bad bed adhesion, where people were using masking tape and glue and hairspray and all these different things to try to get the bed to stick. The bamboo just does it great because the leveling is so good. I mentioned it earlier, but this is the same build volume as their P1 series and the X1C. It's 256 by 256. I did a video on my channel earlier where I showed full size helmets being printed on the Bamboo Labs P1S. And so all of those helmets that I talk about in there can be printed on the same printer. The Deadpool helmet that I showed you earlier is actually printed at 102%, so bigger than the standard size from do3d.com. Also that file is 20% off with code SMP20. I have an average size head and it can do that plus a little bit more. I really was doubting the quality of a bed slinger compared to their other staples of a Core XY printer, but man, it really matches it just punch for punch. I don't know what magic gremlins are inside of that machine, but they just print super well. There's no way I can tell which helmets I've printed on my P1Ss versus my A1. 
to get the same quality for $339 or like $489 if you get the color combo is just wild. If you're trying to start a business of 3D printing, that is going to be the easiest printer to make profitable fastest because it is so low budget, to, but you still get an amazing quality. And yeah, let's talk about the color changing. Like I said, for $489, you get a color changing system with the AMS light. You guys all know me that I do fully finished props. So usually color doesn't matter to me because I'll sand and I'll paint it to be the color that it is. But that doesn't mean that color changing doesn't open a lot of doors. Two things that come to mind. I mean, number one is the fact that it's nice when you can print something in the appropriate colors to just throw it on the printer, let it print a few of them so you don't get a lot of filament waste and things like that. And then you have a product that is done right off the bat and ready to be sold. So it takes time away from you having to, you know, put in manual labor, putting in sanding time and painting time and things like that. When you can print in the right colors and at such a high quality, it's so nice to be able to put a product out there for the masses really easily. When using the bamboo filament, it has like these little key tags inside of it that lets it know right off the bat what color is on what spool. I was able to make this 10,000 subscriber play button here with that AMS system and I didn't have to do any pauses or different things like this. I was able to just print in the colors that it is and it came out looking amazing. And back in the day, I would either have to sand this and paint this and take a little brush to paint all of the little white spots in here and do all of those things. Or I would have to manually be there when the print stopped at, you know, the 20th layer line and then go swap it to the gray filament and then wait till it get to 110 and have to go manipulate G-code. You don't have to do that. You can paint that in the slicer. Oh, and one more thing is that it works great with your old cardboard spools. So the stuff that you had before switching to bamboo's filament and whatnot, that cardboard spools work great on the AMS light. It's not gonna gunk up anything and they're gonna click right on and be perfect. That allows you to throw on three of the same, four of the same filament types and be able to run through all of your old empty spools to just make one big prop and just burn off the rest of the rolls because it'll use the next spool when it's done if it thinks it's all the same. Thing. The Bamboo Lab slicer is also amazing. These printers run off of like default settings and there's things where you just choose your printer, your nozzle, the filament type that you're using. Like I said, it knows when you click it in there as well. But yeah, you just set it to their Bamboo PLA settings and you can run almost everything on default and you will have tons and tons of success. You do not have to go in there and tweak all of their settings like retraction and things like that. I mean, yes, there are calibration tests in their slicer for flow and different things like that, but you don't have to do this. The default, you'll have tons of success, but if you want to, they make it super easy with really easy to read directions on how to calibrate your flow, how to look at a few different numbers of test pieces and see, mm, okay, I gotta put a one in for this value and you'll have amazing prints. And also with Maker World, people will already upload their print profiles for certain prints. So like if you look through Maker World and everything like that and you wanna go download one of their files, there's often somebody has already printed it with your machine and already has the G code ready to roll. So you just load in the G code and you can just print. You could print it from your phone without even having to use a computer. When I tell you I love this printer, I truly love this printer. Like for the same size as their other printers, for such a low price, it is just a no brainer to me. One of these printers is just amazing, but you could have a whole fleet for such a low amount of money that it's just insane. Without a doubt, I truly think that the Bamboo Labs A1 printer is the best beginner printer but it also is great for veterans that are tried and true. Like I said, I was so shocked by a bed slinger being able to put out that quality. And as a veteran or somebody who wants to do a business with, you know, having a print farm, you can get more of these for less. Like I said, I'll have it linked in my link tree down in the description or in my bio that helps the channel out, but go snag one and I promise you will see the results and you'll understand why I'm so hyped about this printer. Check another video after this, like how to fit the full-size helmets on bamboo printers. Love you guys, peace.